Eel Pie Club at the Cabbage Patch in Twickenham hosts an eclectic mix of rhythm and blues throughout the year. On October 20th, the club was home to an iconic rock and roll band, The Rolling Stone. <laughs> the Eel Pie Club in the year 2000, of uh, April 2000, and um, we had a different premises first of all for the first few months, and then it was so popular that we actually outgrew the um, venue, so then we moved to the Cabbage Patch in June 2000, and it was formed to preserve the heritage of the UK rhythm and blues that started in southwest London. I went to their very last gig at the Eel Pie Island Hotel, and it was absolutely rammed, and I was scoffed at the back. And Mick Jagger said, um, well, he said, we're going off on tour. He said, you never know what's gonna happen, but who knows, we might be back, but they never were. We asked various musicians to actually do gigs online for us. From their countries? <laughs> yeah, we, we, Los country, Angeles, yeah. New York, Germany, they yeah. performed. So famous yeah. people performed from their living rooms in their houses. Yeah. The Rolling Stones have been together for over 20 years and performed at the Eel Pie Club on multiple occasions. Yet every gig is new and their desire to give the audience an enjoyable evening is always a top priority. We're trying to embody a band that has many different, has, has lasted a lifetime and has different incarnations. There's nothing like playing, doing a show in front of people who you know that none of them have ever seen you before. Because it's all new to them. And you can give them all your, and you know they've never seen it. And when you see, you can see that they're they're liking and getting off on it. That's a great feeling. And I think we are ourselves to a degree. Yeah, we are the Rolling Stone. We've got our own kind of identity. The mood in the Eel Pie Club was excited and palpable in anticipation of their performance. Drinks were served as the audience waited to see how the evening would unfold. These tribute bands are all tribute bands and they're actually very good and they very accurately reproduce the song. I collect guitars so I'm hoping possibly maybe to see if I can make an offer for one or two of the ones they're using, which will probably be refused. Really just to have a good night with some friends and to listen to accurately play Rolling Stone songs. Arts and culture will survive, doesn't matter what happens. It survived through the Second World War, it survived through all sorts of times of crisis. And in fact, that helps to boost morale. The gig was vibrant, energetic and full of life as the Rolling Stone came down into the crowds. The audience whooped, cheered and sung along. One thing was clear, they got plenty of satisfaction. <laughs>